Hello, my name is Master Zeon, and in this Blender uh, tutorial we're going to be discussing sci-fi huts, mainly circulars. So the first thing I'm going to do is delete my cube, shift A, add a plane, tap in edit mode. We're going to move it on the Y, S, Y, scale it on the Y, put a bunch of loop cuts, and from here I'm going to put an array, and then we're going to put a simple deform, bend 360, and from here, I'm just going to duplicate this object a couple of times, and now the fun can begin. So basically, whatever I do to this stuff will uh, propagate around the form all the way around. So, um, if I wanted to repeat four times or five times, I could just specify that up above. Um, but now, it's all just modeling, so I will even just come in here, delete some faces, and that's looking good. In fact, we might want to scale these two points away from each other. So for the next one, I'm just going to uh, select the whole piece with L, double tap I, press Y to separate it, and bring that out here. So that's that piece. Now for this piece, um, now I'm going to deselect pieces in the middle and we're just going to scale it on the Y S Y G Y and you know with this piece I'm just going to press L tap I once and just delete those faces and we can already kind of see what this shape is uh, going to come out looking like but I want to just make a, a quick video since I haven't um, uploaded any content in a bit just to remind you guys I'm still here just busy um, dealing with stuff but my return is inevitable so on that same note if you haven't got my first uh, Gumroad which I'll put the link in the description go and get it because the sequel is coming out soon and it's going to be a good one You know, for this, I'm just going to extrude it up, scale it, and actually delete this stuff. You know, maybe scale that out, maybe scale this in. You know, really, as long as I don't go beyond the point that's at the end of this one, I'm fine. I can do anything I want within these constraints, and it'll uh, perfectly loop around. So, you know, as you all know, I'm also a, a big fan of modifiers and modifier-based workflows. So also, if you haven't seen my tutorial over on uh, Blender Cookie about lattices and hopefully coming soon, my modifier minis, which are almost done, um, be on the lookout for that as well. But, you know, be sure to go there and, uh, and you know, show some support, comment on the video, say it's the best video you've ever seen. You know? I feel glad that they had me. Um, but it is one of my achievements that I've always wanted. And so I'm glad to finally have obtained my Blender Cookie seal of um, being an artist that has been published there. So we're going to take these points, just drag them down. And this thing is looking pretty good. However, it's starting to look kind of trippy compared to all of our other examples. So, you know, normally you would just need to just extrude this out and bring this in, you know, that's one type of piece, we duplicate it, and um, bring this up, scale it inwards, that's that, bring this up, scale it out, you know, we'll even subdivide it, and so now we have one of these, so, you know, I'm gonna bring that out to trim the outside, and, um, you know, I'm also going to W subdivide and just delete this interior edge loop uh, since I do want that to um, be a nice round surface. So, box select, pull this up. Sometimes I think the simpler shapes are the coolest ones compared to, like, let's see, this area. You know, we're just going to get rid of that it looks kind of silly. We're also going to just uh, get rid of this because it doesn't look right. And this piece looks better 
when there's something filling it in. So if I were to just use F2 and fill all that, you know, select these faces, deselect these, press I to inset, and just delete this loop, you know, that probably looks a little better. So to fill in this blank spot, I'm just going to drag this down and from here I'm just going to delete a couple of faces as always and then insert some dark areas and by dark I mean more areas with no faces so voila so here we have this piece built quickly and most importantly one of these is a complete ring so I can get my origin back so I'm just gonna you know alt C and convert to mesh and first thing I'm gonna do is remove doubles just because doubles gotta go um, we'll select all of this make that a piece first followed by the next ring and then we'll just skip all those little pieces and um, just get all of this stuff alright and I can just make little selections and then just press control L and it'll finish my selection for me now right before I made this tutorial I was like how am I gonna figure this out before but you know this is not even that much work so I mean why even make a big deal I'm just selecting objects pressing P to separate separate uh, P separate selection uh, P separate selection so all that we're left with is this separate and that so since we have one that is actually a ring we will select this ring shift S cursor selected select everything and control alt shift C origin and 3d cursor so now we have a hologram now before we start getting crazy with it I'm just gonna put solidify just so I see it better in the viewport and then I'm gonna put bevel on it just for mysterious reasons and I'm gonna select everything select this control L modifiers so now all the modifiers are here so now the next thing is um, pull out the end panel and right in here under the Z we're gonna type hashtag frame times 0 0.05 or basically 0.5 and we're going to copy that to the clipboard now pressing enter and we'll save this as a HUD tut so that's that and it's spinning kind of fast so maybe 0 0.05 here we go so now this next piece uh, will be negative 0 0.5 negative 0 0.5 so they spin opposite of each other and I could just go through here and um, you know paste this in and it'll just animate eternally so this is my alternative to uh, when I don't want to deal with keyframes or I just want something to rotate forever and you know like um, like a pedestal shot or something you know um, this one's probably going to not going to let me edit it unless I delete the driver and paste it in again. For this one, uh, negative 0 0.05, or maybe that's a positive. Voila. So now for this one, 0 0.05, negative 0 0.05. 0 0.05 and of course negative 0 0.05 so for this last one we're gonna also uh, we'll just let this one be positive and so here we go now we got a, um, like a sci-fi piece like imagine one of my robots standing in the middle just appearing you know, this thing would be ill so to take it a step further before closing this is um, I'll select this one and then this one control alt shift C copy location and under the constraints panel we want a 0.6 and we'll do the next one copy location 0.6 we'll copy this one 
1.6. So if you didn't know how to put constraints, it's Alt Shift C. And so it's an easy uh, process. In fact, this was something um, I was working on automating as well. In fact, I'm sure there's a uh, quite a few different ways I could have done this, but for the sake of this uh, tutorial, this will work the easiest. So 0.6, select this thing, copy location, 0.6, copy location, 0.6. 0 0.6 0 I found worked out well for me. Uh, if you have it all the way at one, it's just going to copy it one for one, which is no good. I just want it to be influenced by 0.6 of this. So finally, I'm going to select all of this stuff. Alt G to put it in the center. Shift C, put my cursor in the center. And I'm going to put a plane axis. Now we're going to change this axis to a sphere. And Control I to select it all. Select this. Control P, parent. And now I can uh, control this object. And basically wherever I rotate it or scale it, it'll work. So this is probably the quickest way you can um, create something like this. So in addition to that, I could literally move these pieces and it will come up gradually, which is just awesome. In fact, um, for this stuff, I maybe want the uh, constraint to be like 0.8. Point eight, point eight. That's not even an eight. That's a seven. But whatever. Point eight. All right. So now, when now they all kind of move, we have this kind of springing effect. So I'll just press I to make a keyframe for location. We'll move up to like a hundred, and just put it all the way up. In fact, we see that this thing probably needs to be a little more into this piece. Same for this piece. And we can even influence all the stuff like on the fly. Just to get these rings to rise really how I want them to. So with the piece here, I'll press I location. And then I'll press Alt G to put it back in the center. I and I'll drag down a timeline window and on this last frame I'll just press E so now if I play it all back looks like I just summon an Aeon like from Final Fantasy which is awesome so let's see it again wow going to another dimension with Master Xeon so that about wraps it up for this video but I hope that uh, you found this interesting and I'll try to uh, you know get back to you guys and uh, make more videos but just know that I'm always uh, lurking behind the scenes so if you ever need to look for me you can always find me just drop me a message or a comment I will be sure to see it but with that Master Sion over and out happy blundering